Libra, this is your monthly soul astrology report for sun sign Libra, Libra rising and moon in Libra. Okay, so you have got a wonderful new moon in Libra in your sign on the 6th. This will help you to renew your energy to actually feel very much a new release of confidence you know up in your game it's brilliant it gives you balance as well even more balance than normal because libra you do spend your time sometimes going from one scale to the other trying to please others but also trying to sort yourself out but the magic thing that you've got in your pocket in your soul back pocket is the fact that you're a, a cardinal sign so in the end, even though you may not be able to make your mind up on certain situations, you suddenly go, I am done, I don't want to do it anymore, or yes, bring it on, I'll do it. You suddenly make a decision. If you are backed into a corner or you just don't feel right about something. So you do, in the end, get there. But the new moon will help you to release any insecurities. It will make you, it will make you feel more confident about yourself, Libra. Now, the sun is in your sign too until the 23rd of October. So the sun will give you again more confidence, a sense of fun, a sense of play. It's great again. New energy, new starts, new beginning. Mars is there. Mars is again in Libra. So you've had a lot to deal with in your sign. Mars is some a planet that will push themselves forward. So you're Libra, you're ruled by Venus. You're like, can we find a peaceful solution to this? Calmness is the key here. Mars is not having it. Mars is going, you sort yourself out now and you get that energy that you need. And I tell you what, believe it or not, the sun and Mars for the first 17 days really helps you and pushes you forward, helps you to create, helps you to start something new which is brilliant but it all goes through you mercury is in libra again in your star signs so mercury is a planet of logic of communication of trying to sort things out through the mental and mercury is retrograde so he's stationary so he's making you go over old ground making you go over old things so Mercury won't be settled until at least the 3rd of November, even though he goes direct on the 18th of October. He has got to have time to settle down. So you will feel mentally balanced in the end. But Mars and the Sun and the Moon are pushing you forward into a new direction, Libra. Now, the sun on the 23rd moves into Scorpio and Mars moves joins the party on the 30th. What this means is that it will give you time as well to actually sort out how you're going to earn your money, what you're going to do with your money, how and when you're going to sort out your finances. But it will raise your self-esteem. All these planets, the concentration of planets that are there in Libra and in Scorpio are teaching you about you, about how you are with others, about how others react to you and what you're willing to put up with and what you're willing to let go of. Venus then jumps into Sagittarius, which is great for you on the 7th. Lots of beautiful communication. Venus, your ruler, will give you that balance that you so desperately need. It is fantastic and also makes a really good aspect to all that Jupiter and Saturn energy. It's you'll you'll find that you'll be you'll feel more like you than you have done in a long time. Pluto goes direct on the 6th of October. Pluto has been in your fourth house of home. And it's really transformed how you are at home. New routines, new starts. You could have moved. You could have sorted something out. 
about a move or you're going to move or you're thinking about moving. Pluto being in your fourth house is all about regeneration and growth. So even if you stay in your home, it's going to be very different. You know, you might have your windows replaced. You might end up buying a home for the first time or renting, moving out of your parents' home, going into a new situation. It really does. It really is a, a game changer. And he goes direct uh, on the six. So it will help you to release any unwanted energy there and it will make you feel better. No more, you know, not as worrying as it has been. Saturn and Jupiter are coupled in the fifth house of Aquarius about children, love affairs, romance. The Saturn is going, get your discipline, get your creativity going. Jupiter is going, no, I want to have some fun. So if you balance those two energies out, they will give you what you need. Just humour one and do what you want with the other. So humour Saturn, get your discipline and Jupiter, ride the wave. Get on your surfboard.